what is up everyone coffee break is back with another video okay so remember that story about the players getting mad that the nfl put these rules in place for the vaccine well it's trickled down now to the coaches rick dennison offensive line coach for the minnesota vikings walked out on his job last week due to the refusal of taking the vaccine and to that i say Good job. Look, here's a guy who didn't like the position he was put in, had the right to walk away from it, and did. I mean, just the power you feel when you have full control of your decisions just feels awesome. Sure, we can argue about the rules the NFL put in place, but at the end of the day, no one was forced to do anything. And good on Rick for just sticking on what he believes in and just said, you know what? I'm just going to move on. He wasn't the only one either. Patriots co-offensive line coach won't be with the team either in a decision related to the NFL guidelines with the vaccine. Bottom line is, there's no bottom line really. I have a feeling more and more coaches will come out. Sure, we haven't seen a player do that just quite yet, but I'm sure people are tempted to do such a thing. Now, let's not bash these people for walking away either. There's going to be disagreements in life, so we just got to let people be people and just allow them to express themselves and just show their right so stop with the bashing stop with the harassing i mean honestly i hope i don't have to talk about this again i guess that's the bottom line now onto some divisional news chandler jones from the arizona cardinals has requested a trade according to jeremy fowler from espn he goes on to say that jones is unhappy with his contract and future with the team now the timing of all this couldn't come at a worse time for Arizona. The team is literally days away from hitting training camp, and one of your few stars on the defensive side of the football is really unhappy. I mean, it's just not ideal. Jones did suffer a season-ending injury last year, which kept him out for most of the games, but if you look at his catalog, man, the guy is just a beast. He's just a sack machine. Now, Jones is in his final year of his contract, and I'm sure he was expecting to get extended before training cap hit which is why i think the news broke just recently cardinals probably didn't want to give the 31 year old a new contract i mean it's going to be interesting to watch that's for sure the cardinals need chandler jones more than chandler jones need the cardinals and i mean yeah they have jj watt but honestly that's that's not gonna cut it but anywho now on to some 49er news ambry thomas has just signed his rookie contract he's ready to go for camp he signed a four-year 4.8 million dollar contract and everyone is still just waiting on trey lands it'll probably just drop today but we're still waiting but the 49ers are a day away from breaking camp it's an exciting time and what feels like a crazy long off season we finally get to see some football activities take place i mean when camp breaks you're just literally a few weeks away from actual football games being played i'm talking about preseason and we're all just trying to follow the storylines i mean we have a quarterback competition now you like to see how guys look returning from injury nick bosa being one of them and you also just seem to like a player just for some reason maybe you like his style of play you're kind of rooting for him to make the team you always get those guys every year and i'm excited to see who that guy will be for me this year so there's all always reasons to tune in for training camp for preseason which is why i'll keep a close eye on 49ers beat writers to get their perspective and observations as the 49ers partake in training camp now this does also lead me to some recent news that fred warner kind of broke on a knbr interview he had last week warner stated that d ford and i quote here looks great he's back I've seen him plenty and he's been working his tail off, end quote. Now, obviously, this is some real uplifting good news, but it's kind of one of those things of I'll believe it when I see it. D Ford has been a disappointing signing to say the least and coming back from a back injury is no joke so i'm not saying fred warner's observations are inaccurate but what i am saying is the 49ers have yet to see him practice also so there's still yet that hurdle to get through if he's able to number one practice and number two stay healthy then i think you'll see some more 49er fans feel more optimistic about this but when you hear this in late july i mean there's not really any substance there so it's a wait and see anyways guys thank you for watching my video please like share subscribe all that good stuff i'll be covering 49ers and nfl news in general anyways thank you all for your support and as always we'll catch you on the next one peace